welcome back to my channel. It has been so long since I have filmed a video for you guys since my wedding actually in the summer. So I've been a little bit busy with school and you know, doesn't matter, I'm back now. I figured I would film something that has been highly requested since actually I've been in high school and before I even thought about starting a YouTube channel. I have had so many different people ask me how I achieve my loose waves, my everyday curls. So I decided to film it for you guys. It is literally the easiest thing in the world. So I figured why not film it for you guys and just document it so you can see how I've been doing my loose waves all these years. I can typically wear them for about three days, give or take, maybe four. Uh, yeah, I can I get away with four sometimes and I usually have a hat on. It will just soften to like a very loose wave on day two and day three, which is still very wearable. So this is my go-to curls. It takes me maybe like 20 minutes tops. It is very easy and quick to do. I'll show you everything you need. So if you'd like to stay tuned and see how I get my loose everyday curls, then just keep on watching. Okay, so this whole process starts with me washing my hair. I like to do this at night time just so I have time to sleep on it and let it air dry. And in the morning, this is what I'm left with. It's not really a curl, not really a wave, not really much of anything, but I do get these really wavy bits towards the base of my hairline here. So I like to straighten those out. It kind of reminds me of a lion's mane. So the tools you'll need, you'll need a straightener, you'll need a curling rod, and you'll need a wide tooth comb to brush the curls out at the end, a good hair spray, and a good dry texturizing mist. So the ones that I like are L'Oreal All Nut Hairspray and the BB Thickening Dry Spun Finish, such a long name from Sephora, and you'll need a claw clip. So we're gonna go ahead and tie or clip up half of your hair, which you'll see me section off here. It's really up to you in the way you wanna section it. It's all in the technique of how I curl my hair that kind of makes them look the way they do. So section it off as you normally would. Next you're gonna grab two sections of hair and I'm actually gonna start smoothing out those little areas I showed you guys earlier. So I like to make sure this is nice and sleek just so when I throw my hair up during the week you're not seeing any little wonky bits towards my hairline. So I'm just gonna straighten out the top part. I'm not gonna go over the length of the entire hair just because I wanna keep that volume that I got from air drying it overnight. So you'll see that I'm just gonna attack that top part there and do that on both sides of my head. So now onto the actual curling part of this tutorial. So grab your curling rod and turn it on. I set mine to 450, just wait for it to heat up. Now we're gonna grab a section at the back of our head. About a one inch section is what I prefer to use. You can use something bigger or smaller. Then you're gonna make sure you're curling the hair away from the face. So it's gonna go around the wand and I also like to slide the hair back and forth. This is my secret guys. I do this to give it a very loose appearance as opposed to a tight curl. It's always worked wonders for me so give it a try if you haven't tried this yet. Then I'm gonna let it cool in my hand. This can be kinda hot so be careful. I have definitely burned myself a few times. And then you can see what I'm left with. It is a nice bouncy curl and it kind of looks like a half curl, half wave. So now showing you guys with a new section, just wrap your hair away. And another tip is make sure your barrel is always facing down. You never want it to face horizontally or pointing out just because it can make the curl a little bit wonky when it's done cooling. I also like to leave out about half an inch at the base of the curl just so it doesn't wrap all the way around the barrel and this is what gives it that half curl, half wave appearance. And voila, now that you guys know my secrets, I'm going to finish up this side of my head and just speed things up for you. Now that I have both sides done on that bottom layer, I'm going to flip it behind just so I don't get it mixed up with my new layers and we're going to work on this top section. So again, you're going to go ahead and split this into two sections and you're going to drop the first one in front of your shoulder that you want to work with, then you're going to clip up that other half. 
working from back to front again, I'm just gonna grab my barrel and we're still going to be curling away from the face, leaving out that little half inch of hair at the bottom and waiting a few seconds, sliding back and forth, and then we're gonna drop that curl and let it cool. definitely burn myself here so like I said it can be totally hot so be careful so the curl I got here was a little too bouncy for my liking so my trick is to pull on it almost like in a straight line while it's still slightly warm and it just loosens it right up front pieces can be a little bit tricky sometimes so I decided to slow it down for you so what I like to do is I'll separate it into two pieces and I will wrap it away from my face like I did with all of the other pieces but I start moving it back and forth immediately I don't wait just so the heat is evenly distributing and I try and put it up as close to my scalp as possible so I get as much volume and it creates a swoop so once I go to let it go I also don't let it cool in my hand so it's not too bouncy You'll see as I remove it from the barrel here, I just slowly slide it off. So with this very front piece, I like to smooth out the top to make sure it's very sleek and I'll start moving that front section along the barrel like I showed before. Then I'm just gonna wrap and hold in place just so it gets that nice swoop when I let it go, sliding it back and forth occasionally. But you'll see once I remove it, it'll just naturally fall in line with the rest of the curls and it doesn't look like I have those, you know, very ringlet type curls by my face. So there we have it and I'll just kind of mash it with the rest of the hair so it flows nicely. Now doing the exact same thing on the other side, I'm going to split it in two pieces again, working with that bottom section first going to be wrapping the hair away from my face. This is on the opposite, so my non-dominant side, so it looks like I'm wrapping towards, but I promise this is away. Just looks slightly odd on camera. Sliding the hair back and forth again, and then we are going to slide it off the barrel without cooling it in our hands, just so we get that nice swoop again. Okay, so doing the exact same thing, smoothing out the top, and then we're going to be curling away from the face. And let me tell you, the wand is gonna be so close to your forehead, do not burn it. I have made the mistake of doing this more times than I'd like to admit, and it looks like you have a nice purple hickey on your forehead that takes forever to heal. So be careful, if you don't like getting this close, then you can have a curl that starts halfway down, but don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, we're not done yet people. We're gonna grab that wide tooth comb that I mentioned earlier on in the video and you are slowly and gently going to start brushing out the bottom of the curls, working your way up to the top of your head. So this is just gonna help make the curls more uniform with each other, that they don't look so ringlety and, is ringlety even a word? I don't know, we're, we're gonna use it, not so ringlety. So like you can see, I'm slowly brushing and they are just becoming more so like a cohesive curl and this really helps give that nice wave appearance. And we're gonna top it off with some hairspray and then we're gonna hit it with some texturizing spray and you're good to go. That's it 
it guys. I told you, easiest thing ever. I literally am in love with how this turns out every single time. It is so foolproof. I'm really happy that I was able to film it for you. So if you had questions and you're constantly like, Steph, how do you do your hair? Now you know, no secret. So if you guys have any other suggestions, just leave them down in the comments below. I'll be sure to respond and take a peek. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification to make sure you don't miss any of my upcoming videos because I plan to film a lot. So I will see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.